Let's go ahead with this warm up today. Let's just start with some shoulder rolls. So this entire workout is done in three sets. Going through your biceps, then your triceps, and then finishing off with your shoulders. So let's just go ahead and warm up those shoulders, kind of work everything out. Two more deep breaths as you roll those shoulders back, and then you're gonna roll them forward. Same motion, opening up those elbows wide. Just a big deep breath, a big inhales, big exhales as you make those circles wide. Just drawing with those elbows. Good. Go two more, and then we're gonna swing that right arm straight across. Just go ahead and open that right arm up. Stretching it across your body, switching over to that left arm. Just real quick, stretch and pull. Switch over to the other side. Squeeze and switch. Good, you've got one more each side. Then we're gonna do the same thing with going up and overhead. So taking that right arm directly overhead, pulling it down your back. One big deep breath, and then switch arms. Left arm comes down, one big deep breath. Switch to the right. And switch to the left. We're gonna go one more on each side. But this time I want you to add a side bend. So pull it down, pull into that opposite side. Good, one deep breath. And switch, bending to the opposite side as you pull the opposite elbow down. Good. Pulling those hands behind your, behind your back, shoulders roll down, face turns towards the sky. One deep breath and then we're gonna walk out into a plank. So rotating into a plank, let's just go into that nice hand plank in that push up position. We're just gonna go and start with a little bend. So rotating those elbows back like in a tricep push up, just little pulses, warming up that shoulder. Warming up that core, good. Big inhale, big exhale, good. You've got three, and then we're gonna walk it down to our forearms and then walk it back up to our hands. Two and one, good. Walk it down to the forearms, watching that hip. Walk it back up, down, down, up, up. Trying to stabilize that core, not letting those hips rock. Walk it down, down, up, up, good. You got it. Down, and down, down, up, up. Good. Pull it on your next up into that push up position, finishing out this warm up with those little pulses. Good. You got three, two, going back to child's pose. In, one, drop those knees, sink all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our right side today. So we're gonna start off with a few full range curls. So taking that mini band directly around your palms, holding one hand directly at your chest, wrapping the palm around the other side. We're just gonna go through a full range of motion in these curls, bringing that thumb, extending that elbow all the way down, and then bringing it all the way up to the shoulder. Good, so again, it's a big exhale on the way down. It's a big inhale as you bring the arm back up. And of course, it's very easy to let that band snap you back. So from the side so that you can see, one hand firmly on my chest, one hand pulling all the way down. That elbow is pinned to my side, squeezing the core. I'm just sitting on my heels. You have the option, you can always kind of tuck the pelvis and lift off the heels if you want a little lower body challenge. You could stand, you could sit. You can tuck those toes, whatever feels good. I just want you to keep that elbow pinned to the side. We're gonna burn out this entire right side before we switch to the other side today. So again, holding here, fighting that tension, not letting that arm snap back from the resistance. You're gonna hold it all the way down in five. We're going to half ups in three, two, and one, so you're holding all the way down, you're coming to halfway, so 90 degrees, press it back down. Up, down, good. Again, squeezing the core, 
so that you're not arching through the back here or rounding. You're scooping that tailbone, squeezing the core, keeping the whole entire movement here in your bicep, feeling that burn. Good, you've got it. You've got it. three, feel that bird. We're gonna switch to half downs in two, one, good, relax that arm, come all the way to the top. Now you're coming just to 90 degrees, back up. So again, option to pull that band up to get a little bit more tension, up and down. Your choice here, of course, but I want you to hold that elbow close. You're coming up to the top, just to 90 degrees, up and down. So when you're coming from the top to that 90 degrees, it's gonna be a little less range of motion than down and up because of the mini band but I want you to challenge yourself. If it's too light, then pull that band up so that you get a little bit more movement here. Good, you've got it. You've got five seconds. We're switching to the other side in three, in two, one. Good, shake out that right shoulder. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna switch that grip. So right hand has the mini band. Left hand is curling all the way through those full range curls. Good. So it should feel good to let go of that right arm. Come all the way down, up, down, up. Good, find your breath. Make sure that you aren't holding it. Exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the pull to the top. Good, squeezing all the way through, extending all the way through that left arm. Again, if you can't get that full range of motion, you can always drop to a lighter band or dumbbell, or you can drop those weights or mini bands all together. Good, you've got 10 seconds, then you know it's coming. We're gonna do those half ups here. Good, it's five, it's four, three, two more, one, and good, extend it all the way. You're only coming to halfway and down, half, down. Good. If you need that challenge, go ahead, add it on, pull that band a little bit higher. Otherwise, you're coming all the way down, halfway up, down, and up. Good. Squeeze, extend. I promise after this, you get to shake it out. Good. You've got 10 seconds. Good. You've got five. And then we're going into that halfway down. Three, two, and bring it to the top. Last set here, guys. You're pulling that elbow into the side, coming all the way down to that 90 degrees, or pulling that band up to give yourself a little bit more tension, whatever feels good. You've only got 15 seconds, and then you're done with this single arm bicep work today. Good, it's five. Good, it's four. Really pulling against that band. Three, two, and one, good, set that band down a second. Give yourself a couple little shoulder rolls. Stretch out those biceps. Now we're gonna go into a little bicep and shoulder combo today. So I want you to loop that band around your palms, press those elbows into your sides. From here, I'm just tiny, tiny movement, taking those thumbs, pulling out and away from my chest, and then back to center. So squeezing through the core, that 90 degrees is just pulling my elbow off the side of my body just a little bit, bringing it back to center. So out and in, good. So I want you to think about pulling your arms one unit, not letting your elbows go forward, not letting your palms flare away from your body. It's just a small movement out and then a small movement in. Of course, not Letting that mini band snap you back. Good, squeeze. Good, you should equal parts. Feel this in your bicep and feel this in your shoulders. You press away and come back. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale, good. You've got it. You can always increase the tension in that band by looping your hands around. If you need more, pulling away. Good, you've got 10 seconds. We're gonna add in some curls here. Good, it's five, it's four. Squeeze, three, two, and one. So you can take that position just as you have it. Raise those elbows up, palms face together. We're going to extend in a bicep curl. So I'm gonna switch to the side so you can see it. 
squeeze of the core, keep those elbows directly parallel with the mat. Find that tension in the band, wherever that may be, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, and you're gonna curl out, bring those arms straight and parallel, bring those thumbs back to your shoulder. So again, as I curl and release, I'm not letting those elbows drop below parallel. Good, squeeze and release. So whether you're here with that band, you've dropped those weights, you've dropped everything, it doesn't matter. I want you to focus on keeping that tricep parallel with the mat. So as you extend, you don't lower that arm, thumbs to the shoulders and extend. If you want more of a challenge, of course, pull that mini band away. You'll get more activation in the shoulders. Good, it's curl and out. Again, big exhale, big inhale. Good, holding that core tight, making sure your back doesn't arch here, squeezing through the glutes. Good, extend and out. Big deep breath as we finish off our bicep set here today. Good. You've got 10 seconds and then we get to switch into our triceps. Good, it's five, four, good. Three, two, and one. Good, go ahead, drop that band, give yourself a couple little shoulder rolls really quickly. Then we're gonna go ahead and switch into triceps as promised. So again, you have that option of sitting on your thighs. I'm gonna switch just like this so that you can see Taking that band just between my palms, taking those arms up and overhead, both elbows bend, keeping those elbows by my ears. <clears throat> taking that band, I'm gonna wrap it around one of my fists because you guys can't see it. Keeping that elbow right by my ears, I'm gonna extend that arm long and then control that band as I bring it back down. So the left arm here is acting as the stabilizer, the right arm is extending upwards and overhead, good. So again, I'm holding through my core nice and tight, extending that arm directly overhead, feeling that burn all through the tricep as I extend the arm and then lower it. So the only thing that's moving here is that elbow as I extend the arm and back down. If you're standing, watch that you're not arching that back, press the pelvis forward, squeeze the core, find that rhythm, extend up. Extend, good, you've got it. Pressing all the way up, really feeling that burn. Good, you've got 10 seconds for switching to the other side. Good, press and back. Make sure you don't break that band. It's three, good, it's two, and one. Good, roll that shoulder out, switch to the other side. That right arm is now acting as the stabilizer. And then we've got that left arm lifting and lowering, lower it down and up. Big exhale as you press up overhead. Big inhale as you bring it back down. So it's so easy to let that band snap you back. If you need extra tension, you can bring that elbow farther back down your back. You can twist that mini band around your hand. Good, if you need less tension, drop to a lighter band, drop to a lighter weight. Good, you got it. You've got 10 seconds. And then we're switching up to some tricep kickbacks behind us in three, two, and one. Good, take that mini band. We're gonna go into some single arm kickbacks, which means I'm rolling over. If I'm standing, if I'm on my knees, that's fine, but I want you to hinge at the hips. Much like we've done with all the mini bands, we need a hand to stabilize. So we're taking that hand to the chest. The working arm is extending backwards. So holding that core nice and tight, hinging forward, making sure there's no arch in my back. Then I'm gonna take that right hand, bring it to my chest. Left hand has the mini band. From here, it's just my elbow staying above my chest as I extend. And then again, control it on the back. So extend and exhale. Big inhale as I come back. So extend. Inhale, extend. So I really want to fight for length here in the arm. I really want to get all the way. So I really engage that tricep. Good, just really focus on your breath here as I press back and inhale. If you need to drop that band, go ahead and do it. But you're bringing that pinky to the sky, holding that, that arm long, 
thumb to the shoulder, extend. Good, extend. We're adding here a little challenge if you want. As I extend, I'm gonna rotate my palm. So as I extend, if my pinky was to the sky, this time I want you to pull it back and then bring that hand to the top. So I'm twisting through that mini band, adding a little rotation. You've got 15 seconds here. Of course, if that rotation feels like too much, then you can always leave it out. Good, but I want you to feel that burn in that tricep. Good, you've got five. We're switching the exact same movement on the other side. In three, good, in two, hold it out long. In one, hold it, hold it, don't drop it. Three, two, one, and switch sides. Just to get a little extra in there for you guys today. Left hand goes to the chest, same thing. Pinky extends, pulling against that fan, holding that core in tight, hinging at the hips. And then again, extend and bring it back in. Good. Make sure you're really exhaling here and then coming all the way back, no snap back. So there's no extension with that quick snap. I want you to hold that elbow up high, pull back and center, hinging and center. So again, if you are standing, watch that your back isn't rounding here, watch that your back isn't arching, hold that core in, rotate that pelvis, extend, good, extend. If you're not here for very much longer, we're gonna switch over to some double arm work. Just isolating each individual arm to get a little bit stronger. Good, again, if you want, you can add that rotation. Thumbs to the shoulder, palms to the sky. Good, pulling it up. You've got five, you've got four. We're gonna hold it at the top, just like the other side. Three, two, and one, give me one. Good, give me two, don't drop it. Three, and set it down. So take that band, loop it around those palms. We're going to the back. So my palms should face the sky. I'm gonna hinge forward in that same position, starting with a little bend in my elbows, core nice and tight, hinge, no arch in my back, just like before. Elbows pinch together, but point towards the sky. Arms start out with a slight bend. We're gonna press away, straighten those arms, and bring that bend back. So arms out, bend back. Arms out and lengthen and bend. Good, squeeze, squeeze, and press. So each time in that move, I'm trying to lengthen, keeping my palms towards the sky, squeezing my core. Bend happens from the elbow, palms to the sky. So the only movement is here, just a little bend, a little extend. I'm watching my chin and my gaze is directly in front of me on the mat, not up to twist my neck and not down in front of me to block my airway. Looking forward on the edge of that mat. Good. You've got 10 seconds into these little presses. We're gonna keep the band wrapped around our palms in five. Good, it's four, three, don't drop your hands, two, and one. Good, I want you to take those palms in that exact same position, turn your palms to face each other, thumbs to the mat, pinkies to the sky. Hinging again, we're just gonna press away from that mini band, engaging the shoulders, engaging the triceps, not letting those hands drop, keeping them up fully extended, just pressing out away from that band, Squeezing, good, you've got it. This is your last tricep exercise. So after this, you get to set that band down for a second, roll out those shoulders, roll out those biceps, those triceps. I know they're burning, but you can actually give me 30 seconds of squeezes because you know that's the end. There is no more tricep work today. I am finishing out those last 15 seconds with you. Little presses, keep those arms lifted, don't drop them. If you've got weights, fight all the way to the very end. Good, you've got five. You'll get to drop it in four, three, two, and one. Good, drop those arms, shoulder rolls here. We've got one last set, that's it. That's all, and then you're on to your cool down today. 
Take a second, take a deep breath. If you want to grab some water, go ahead and do it. We're going to set up into our shoulder presses today. So again, coming down to center, stand, sit, kneel, whatever feels good. In the shoulder series, I want you to focus more than anything else on your core. Pressing your core forward, absolutely no arch in that back. Think about squeezing your glutes, pressing that pelvis forward. You make one solid long line down your body. You absolutely can't arch your back if you're engaging your core. So, let's take that mini band now that we've had just a little bit of break. We'll loop it around your palms, elbows, directly in front of you. They are at 90 degrees. You're gonna press all the way up, watching that you're not arching that back and bringing it back down. I'm keeping tension in that band, not letting it slack. Tension, press up, squeeze, bring it back down. So from the side, it looks just like this. I'm holding it at 90 degrees and pressing all the way up and back down. We're gonna add a level of difficulty. If you wanna extend those legs, you activate the core just a little bit more. You're pressing up and back down. Squeeze, not letting the tension of that band go. Good, you've got it. Just pressing up, feeling those shoulders activate, feeling everything fire up in our last set today. Good, lift up and down, squeeze and up. Good, you've got five seconds. We're gonna add in a little challenge here on this exercise, add a little spice to this workout. So it's three, good, keep that position in two, hold it down 90 degrees. I want you to add a press away here and then go into that press. So it's away, up, press, good. Again, exhale as you press, inhale as you lower, good, press. You're only here for 10 more seconds, I promise I won't keep you. Press, good, up, you've got five, good, you've got four, three, two, and one. Hold it down, little baby presses. Hold it, hold it, hold it. No dropping those shoulders. I told you you finished the presses, but you have those press aways. You've got four, you've got three, two, and one. Now you get those, set it down again. Shaking out those shoulders. We're going into some lateral raises and some front raises. So let me show it to you from the side so you have an idea of what to expect here. Just like we've gone throughout this entire workout, you're using one hand as a stabilizer at your chest. You're using one hand to move through this movement today. So keeping my back nice and flat, everything in one long line. I'm gonna go ahead and raise my arm directly in front of me, come back down, and one out to the side. Squeeze your core, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Each time I lower, it's an inhale. Each time I lift, it's an exhale. Just keeping that arm parallel with the mat, so easy here to allow your arm to slingshot through that movement. So make it one deliberate raise and lower. One deliberate raise and lower. Good. Big inhale, big exhale. Good. So again, just follow through that movement. I don't want to see that band snapping. I'm trying to keep that arm as straight as possible. If you need a modification, you can always add a slight bend as you lift and lower. If you find that it's too hard to reach out to that parallel position, good. It's up and down. Good. Lift and lift. Squeeze it through your core. You've got five. Good. You've got four. Three. I want you to hold it forward in two. And last one, don't drop that arm, just hold it forward. We're gonna add in just little presses here. Just staying here really short. Good, just little presses, don't drop that weight. Big deep inhales, big exhales as you hold that weight, little pulses. We're gonna hold it out to the side, same pulsing position in five, in four, good, it's three. Two and one, drop it down, arm to the side, same thing, little pulsing presses. Give me 15 seconds. We're gonna drop it to the other side. Good, in five, four, 
three, two, and one. Good, drop that arm. Coming back, switching to the other side. Use that left arm for support. Again, it's out to the side, and it's directly forward. Out, forward, good. Squeezing, finding that breath. Inhaling and exhaling as you lift and lower. Good. We're bringing out this opposite side and then we're gonna flush it out with a couple exercises and then you're out of here today. Good, you've got it. Forward and down, just like the other side, making sure that you don't snap that band. Good, squeeze, it's up and good. Big exhale, big inhale on that lower. Good, you've got 20 seconds. We're gonna hold it out to the side. Good, lift, lift, squeeze. You've got it, less than 20 seconds now. Feeling that burn through the shoulder. No reason to rush. You've got five, pulling it to the side in three, in two, and one, hold it up. Again, little presses, just listening to the music, finding that beat, finding that rhythm. Good, you've got five. And we're gonna hold it to the front in three, squeeze, it's two, and one. Drop it to the front, finish it out, 15 seconds. Good, we've got two exercises to finish out this workout today. And then you are free, it's five. Good, it's four, three, Two and one, good. Set those arms down, I know that they're tired. We're gonna open up into a chest opener to extend those shoulders back. Flush out everything that you just did. So bombs come up to that same position that we were doing just before. Mini band around those palms, elbows parallel with the ground. We're gonna hold on to that mini band with a grip. I want you to open up to the side, keeping that 90 degrees. Coming back to center. So I have that mini band directly in front of my face, right at my forehead. I'm gonna open, back to center. Open, back to center. So as I open and I close, I'm alternating, but I'm not twisting through the torso. Keeping those elbows nice and parallel. Open, close. So the only movement is from the shoulder. No rotation through the chest. The mini band is too tough, the weights are too heavy, drop those, but don't drop the arms. Good, again, avoid that twist. Squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, just use the shoulders here. Good, you've got 15 seconds, that's it. You can do it, you've already made it through almost the entire workout, so avoid dropping those arms now. Good, squeeze, fight the resistance of that band, don't let it snap back. Good, you've got five. You've got four, three, two, and one. Set it down, you've got one last exercise and then we're dropping down into our cool down. Arms go directly overhead, palms face away. We're creating that stabilization by grabbing a fistful of mini band in each one. My left arm stays straight, my core is engaged, no arch in my back. Then I'm taking that right arm, I'm pulling it down, pinching those shoulder blades in the back and then controlling and fighting the tension of the band on the way back up. So again, pulling down and back up. Good, squeeze. This last exercise is short. It's 30 seconds on each side, so you're already almost halfway done with this right arm. Keeping that left arm straight, no bend. Keep it there, it is your stabilizer. That elbow's by the ear. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Good, it's five. Big deep breath, it's four, three. Good, feel those shoulders burn, two and one. Good, take that right arm directly overhead. Last exercise today, left arm pulls straight down, up and down. You've got 30 seconds till the end of class. We'll drop back into child's pose as soon as we drop this mini band so you've got it you've got 15 seconds i want you to keep working through this entire movement for the last 10 pulling all the way down good squeeze it's five it's four three squeeze you've got it two more and then dropping back into child's pose last one and drop that mini band all right 
let's go ahead and stretch those arms out today, guys. Taking your stomach all the way to the mat. I want you to take that left arm out wide, right arm at your chest. And we're just gonna roll into that left shoulder, keeping that right arm right by your chest, pressing into that left side, feeling that left shoulder open up. Good, squeeze. Just take a couple deep breaths here. And then taking that same position, that right arm extends, that left arm comes over to my chest, pressing into the mat, feeling that shoulder stretch. Two deep breaths. And then press back into that Bird dog position, I want you to take that left arm and thread it underneath and then bring the body down onto that left shoulder. Twisting the body, feeling a nice twist through the spine and then that nice release of the shoulder. One more breath and you'll switch to the other side. And switch. And then coming back up, let's palm switch out those forearms by flipping the palms to the sky, shifting that weight back, and then forward over those forearms, shifting that weight back, and forward, really pressing those forearms into the mat. And then coming up to that seated position, let's take that left arm straight across the chest. Taking one deep breath here, and then we'll stretch out those triceps by going overhead, just like we did in the warm up. One deep breath, and then directly up and overhead. Option to add in that big side stretch if you feel like you need it today. And coming back to center, right arm straight across. And one more deep breath up and overhead. Big stretch to that left side. And then finishing out class, let's go ahead and open that chest. Interlace the hands behind the chest, pulling down. Face goes to the ceiling. Two deep breaths. Last deep breath today and to finish class. 